good morning children how are you all i hope you all are fine doing something at home not wasting your time in video games tv and all no i hope you all have understood the lesson also because we have completed lesson number 2 and you have understood the use of paper also now how to use the paper and how to save our environment so today we are going to continue the same lesson but today we are not going to read again the lesson because reading part we have done and i told you all that you read it again and if you have any doubt you can ask me on whatsapp today we are going to do the back exercises of the lesson i think you all have read the lesson yes so take out now all of you just take out page number 28 okay so in this one vocabulary is given this we are going to do in the whatsapp because nothing is there so i'll explain you there because this portion will take time so i'll start with page number 29 now these words are given here look up a dictionary and find the root words for the following words one has been done for you do you know what is the root word yes from where we get the word means what is the base word if we know the base word then only we can form a new word so many words are given and you have to write down the uh, root word now what you will do children you will not do in, in the copy or anything you will paste one paper here i think you all know every time we all are doing so what you will do you will paste one paper like this here like this you will paste one paper here and you will do all the answers and exercises in these papers only so you try to take a pin paper the middle paper so that if you will paste that so everything will come here only so don't take a single sheet but please take a double sheet of pin paper a middle paper understood come on so we will start so look at look up a dictionary so they are saying that you have to look into a dictionary but i have given i have written everything that what is the root word now first one they have given mixture root word is mix like mixture this is the main word and here i am writing the root word so first one is mixture so root word is mix second word is discovery discovery the root word is discover third one remarkable now for this the root word is remark from there only you get the words it's not there that you have to find it from anything from discovery from discovery now don't think that disk is a word from where this discovery word has come so we will write that word only that is discover now remarkable word is here only you have to write down the root word from where this word has come so from remark this word has come from discover this word has come invention that will be invent now look at this word probably now this word has come from p r o b a b l e now in this there is a bit difference of spelling here e is there but when we write probably then we only write p r o b a b l y we are going to cut this word e from here okay so from where we have got this word we have got this word from probable and this word is probably so here e is there now here nothing was there directly the answers were coming but here probable e is there and then we have to write down because this is the base word and this is the word which was given there and they are asking for the root word so this is the root word of probably same thing now active this is activity 
so we are we have got what is the root word for activity active a c t v t i v e here e is there but here e is not there we have written a c t i v i t y so the base word the root word is active and the the main word is here activity now same thing product now here we have used the t but the root word is p r o d u c e produce artist it's very simple from art we have got this word ninth is recycling then this will be recycle same thing c y c l e cycle when we write down the spelling of cycle we write c y c l e but when it becomes cycling e is removed from here and we write r e c y c l i n g so this is the main word and this is the root word so this you have to just paste a paper and write down here paste a pin paper here and write down all these answers in this paper have you all understood this thing i hope it is clear to you because it's very simple only you have to remember the spellings so all the spellings you learn you learn the spelling of the main word also and you learn the spelling of the root word also now comes the pronunciation it's very simple and we all make mistake in this see i'll just read for you two successive letters that represent a single sound is called a digraph two letters they are sometimes similar letters but they have a different sound like when we say sometimes a uh, sh 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 and s or ch it becomes k also and ch also so words are same like cheese also and chalk also okay so we don't know uh, how it it depends according to the words so two successive letters that represent a single sound is called a digraph there are two kinds of digraphs vowel digraphs and consonant digraphs you all know a e i o u it is a vowel and rest all the words are consonants so what are they saying that there are two kinds of digraphs how many kinds of digraphs are there there are two kinds of digraphs one is a vowel digraph and the other one is a consonant digraph common consonant digraphs in includes now what are they including see common very common ones it said they include th as in then and th as thing so have you all written this now see one th this is for then and one is t h i n k think this is also come from th now this is think th in hindi what do we say th and here it is then the there is a difference is there is there a difference in the pronunciation here it is coming then here it is coming think and the words are same here also th here also th but the pronunciation of this is different and the pronunciation of this word is different have you understood this thing so <clears throat> so common consonant digraphs in english include th as in then and th as in thing for example in the word thing t and h have different sounds so in thing what do how are we going to pronounce thing th thing have different sounds but the two letters in the word make a completely new sound they are making different sound but when we say when we speak it becomes a one sound now place your fingers in front of your mouth if you will just press your fingers like this and if you will say thank so what will happen some air is coming out come on repeat after me thank again you repeat thank put your hand in front of your mouth and just say thank understood so something is coming out that is air no so when you say th it will come out can you feel the air as it goes out of your mouth now th breath sound now first word is anthem many of you make mistake we say anthem also but actually the word is anthem authentic again the air is coming 
authority, athlete, bath, birth, month, tank, thick, thin, thing, thrill, thunder, thumb. Have you understood all this word? What was the sound coming? It was coming th and the air was coming out. Now comes th voice sound. This is audible. Now you can just see. Breathe. Now any air is coming out? No. Breathe. Then father. Rhythm. Dan. That. Then. Them. These. This. There, there, does, does, what is it? Does, weather, with, what is it? With, have you understood? We never say with, it should be with, what, what is the pronunciation? With, understood? So just repeat after me, okay? You have to repeat, breathe, father, rhythm, than, that, then, them, these, this, there, there, does, weather, with. So think of two more words that have either the breath or voice, breath or voice, th sound and write them in your notebook. So no need to write in the notebook, here only this is your homework and you will do it in this page only. Okay, have you understood this part, this diagram, the pronunciation, the same words are having different pronunciation. So how to uh, speak those words? Now comes read these sentences from the chapter. Now these words are given in your chapter, I will just read and what are they? This he would then spread out on a rough cloth mat with a bamboo frame placed around it. Which word is highlighted there? Spread out. Though Riyamur never made paper like the wasps. Riyamur was not making this. It's given in the book also. He had found the secret of paper making that wood could be broken apart and made into paper. Broken apart. Now which word is highlighted there? Broken apart. This, now two, word, two words are highlighted. Which are those words? Spread out and broken apart. So the expressions spread out and broken apart have more than one part. Now when we will do the exercise we will understand how. Now spread and out, see these words. Spread out is not a single word but we have two words. One word is spread and the other word is out. Same thing is broken apart. This is broken plus apart. Okay. So one word this and one word. These are just the Combinations. So spread out such expressions that are in the form of phrases are called as phrasal verbs. When we write this spread out together, it will become a phrasal verb. What will it become? It will become a phrasal verb broken apart. Both the words when they are joined it becomes a phrasal verb. So such expressions that are in the form of phrases they are known as phrasal verb. Come to page number 30 now. A phrasal verb is a combination of a verb. So phrasal verb. Now what is a phrasal verb? Now phrasal verb Phrasal verb is a combination of first one it is verb plus a particle. What is that particle now? What is this particle? This particle may be a preposition or an adverb. So phrasal verb is a combination of verb. So first you will have one verb here and plus you may have an adverb also or a preposition also. So phrasal verb is called, I am just giving you, it is given in your book. Phrasal verb is equal to verb plus adverb or preposition. Understood? 
the new unit is different from two separate words. So, when the new unit become it, it is something from two separated words it has become. The new unit has become from these two separated words like I gave you the example uh, what was it broken uh, apart and spread out. So, that is means that is one unit, but from two words it has come. Now, read these sentences. She is looking after the plants. Now, again, it is very simple. If you will do it, you will read it again and again, you will understand that it is very simple. Like, she is looking after the plants. Now, which words are highlighted there? Looking after. Now, see, looking and after. Looking is a verb and after is an adverb. After is a preposition also, but it depends according to the sentences. Here it is acting just like an adverb. So, she is looking after the plants. So, looking after it is a verb and after is an adverb. So, the list had to be written down so that nothing was forgotten. So, now the second word is written down. What is the second word? Written down. So, written down again now see. Written, what is written? Written is a verb. But here down is a preposition. So, if it is an adverb or a preposition, these all things they become phrasal verbs. What they become? Phrasal verbs. What will she say when she finds out? Again, which word is now highlighted there? Finds out. Again, finds is a verb and out is a preposition. So, when this combination is there, this is called as a, a prepositional phrase. What it is called? Sorry, no, sorry, sorry, phrasal verbs. What is it called as? Phrasal. It is called as phrasal verb. Understood? Phrasal verbs are usually used together in a sentence as shown in the sentences above. Now, how the phrasal verbs are used? Just see. Now, look at the sentences shown below. She called up the manager last evening. She called him up. Both the sentences only the object is changing. In first one, the object is the manager. In the second one, the object is him. So, in the second sentence, the object him separates the verb called from the preposition up. So, the phrasal verb has the same meaning. So, the phrasal verb is having the same meaning in both the examples. So, a phrasal verb can sometimes be separated by an object, but the meaning of the phrasal verb will not change. So, there it was in the first one it was the manager. No? So, now it has, in the second one it is him. So, now it is there uh, the phrasal verb is separated, but the meaning is not changing. So, we can write, we have to whenever in the exam and all if we are getting, so you have to underline both the words that these two words when we make a combination it will become a phrasal verb. In some other cases, however, the meaning of the phrasal verb will change when the verb and the particle are separated, but sometimes it changes in some other cases. In if you encounter a new phrasal verb and are unsure of its meaning and usage, it is best to refer to a good dictionary that gives examples. Ah, one more thing is there. Sometimes it is very confusing when we do, when we will do the exercise also you will come, you will think so many ver, uh, phrasal verbs are given and you will think that this one is correct, that one is correct and even we make mistakes because we all are human beings and we all make human errors, no? So, better that we should always go through the dictionary and if you are not able to find in the dictionary, just go through internet also. You will get so many things that you will get the right answer. Sometimes we are not getting and we feel sometimes we in prepositions and adverbs and all we always say that this one is also correct, this one is also correct. But what is the specific answer? Sometimes we do not, we ignore those things. So, better we should always refer a dictionary and go through internet. So, now one exercise is given, I will just give the answers also. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate phrasal verbs. John was tired of digging, so his friend helped him in, helped him over, <coughs> sorry helped him out. Which one is correct here? Helped him out. B. I do not really know this city. Could you show me inside? Show me around? Show me down? Which one is correct now? Show me around. I will pick on you, pick at you, pick you up. I will pick you up at 8 p.m. I am really tired. I have been running on, running away or running around, running around. 
running around all day trying to get things ready for the party. So, I am just writing on the board the correct answers if you have not understood you, you can just note it down and do not make mistake ok. The first one answer is helped him out. What is the answer? Helped him out. Number 2, I do not really know the city. Could you show me around? What is the answer? Show me around. Third one, I will pick you up. Fourth one, I am really tired. I have been running around. Now comes the fifth one. Let us dash your test paper. Let us go over. What is it? Go over. Now sixth one. The teacher handed out the worksheets. The teacher handed out the worksheets. So these are the answers which I have written on the blackboard. Now second one. Rewrite these sentences using appropriate phrasal verbs in place of the words in bold. Now bold letters are given. So you have to replace a phrasal verb means when the bold letter is given you will not write that bold letter but instead of that you are going to use a phrasal verb. The meanings of the sentences should not change but one thing is there the meaning should not change. The words in brackets are clues. So be careful when you are doing this. I will read each and everything and I will show you how to write down the first one, rest you can do on your own. First one, I have to submit this assignment tomorrow. I will write down the sentence, I have to submit. Now this word is given in bold, I have to submit this assignment. tomorrow. This is the sentence given and in the bracket one word is given hand. Okay. So, this is the bold letter given. This letter you have to replace by this word but you have to add one word to make a phrasal verb because if this word is given this is only a verb. You have to add one more word to make it a phrasal verb. So, how I will write down this sentence? I have to hand in this assignment, hand in this assignment, this assignment tomorrow. So what I have done? I have added this word, hand in. This is a preposition and here it is not your hand, it is not a noun, here it is a verb. So hand in. So, this is a phrasal verb. Instead of this word, I have used this, but I have added one word in this word to make a phrasal verb. Second word. Now, I am not right going to write down all the sentences, but I will write down the answers. Second one. We have to follow traffic rules. Now, we have to follow. Which word is highlighted here? Follow. So, instead of follow, in the bracket it is given abide. So you have to write we have to abide by. Which word you are going to use? Abide by. This phrasal verb you are going to use. Okay, in the second sentence. Third one, I have the same opinion as you. I do not think we should delay any longer. So, I have the same opinion instead of the highlighted word have the same opinion. Which word I have to use? I have to use now abide was uh, this uh, agree word is given in the bracket. So, we will write down agree with, agree with. So, how we are going to say I agree with you, I do not think we should delay any longer. So, instead of have the same opinion, we will use agree with. This is a phrasal verb. Fourth one, the pain in his leg has reduced. 
Now for reduced which word we are going to use the word they have given is. So we have to use in a past tense only because this is a past tense here. So we are going to use eased of E A S E D and O double F. So this is the phrasal verb. Again this is a preposition. Fifth one, you must be quick or we will miss the bus. So you must hurry up. What is the word? You must, uh, sorry. This word they have given here, be quick. So for this we have to use hurry up and there is a comma after that. Sixth one, Sunita can be a part of the discussion and share her thoughts. Now it is given join. So Sunita can join up the discussion. So it will be join up the discussion. Join up, sorry, not no need to write the is given this, join up. So this is the phrasal verb, here this is the phrasal verb. I think you all have understood this thing. So the phrase that begins with a preposition is called a prepositional phrase. For example, huh, now sometimes it is not like that, that the uh, verb, this uh, um, phrasal verbs are starting with the verbs only. It may start with a preposition also. So this crashed and painted on cave walls, drew on wet clay and carved on stone. Now see on stone. What is on stone now? On is a preposition. So it is starting with a preposition on stone. So this, this is also a phrase. What is it? This is also a phrase. But what type of a phrase is this? This is a prepositional phrase. What is this? This is a prepositional phrase. Why? Because it is starting with a preposition. So a phrase that begins with a preposition is called a prepositional phrase. For example, this, this scratched and painted on cave walls, drew on wet clay and carved on stone. In the above sentence, on is the preposition and on stone is the prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrases perform the function of an adjective or an adverb. So these two can be, they can perform just a function of an adverb also. They can perform a function, uh, they can behave just like an adjective also. Okay. As an adjective they answer the question which one? If I say which one? So as an adverb they answer where, when and how. So in adjective they will answer the question if any sentence is written and if I will ask the question and if I get an answer with this question which one. So that one that is that is an adjective. But in adverb how you are going to ask the question because there you have where, when and how. So where you can ask the question to the sentence where, when and how because they have given the sentence I will just read out. The glass of milk on the table is for you. Now what you have to do, you have to look the, into the sentence very carefully. The words which are highlighted, I will underline and I will show you that how you are going to ask a question and how you will come to know that it is an adjective or an adverb. So the first one is given the glass of milk. the glass of milk on the table. Now in this which is a phrase on the table because it is not having a verb no and that is a phrase. So a glass of milk on the table is for you. Now if I ask a question which one is on the table? The glass of milk on the table which one? So with which word I have started? which one? The one on the table. So the answer I am getting the one on the table. On the table I am getting the answer. So I will just repeat the sentence again that prepositional phrases perform the function of an adjective or an adverb. As an adjective they answer the question which one. So this is an adjective. When they are answering the question which one that is an adjective. But when it is an adverb it answers the questions where, when and how? So all of us met at the library. Now at the library, 
at the library this word is a preposition and it itself shows a place where so it is an adverb <coughs> i saw him before the show again it's showing you before the show where when time before the show, show. so it is again an adverb before uh, before the show then he pulled the rope with all his might with all his might how so again it is going to show you an adverb so again i'll read the sentence you'll understand that prepositional phrases perform the function of an adjective or an adverb as an adjective they answer the question which one if it is an adjective it will answer the question which one if it is an adverb it will uh, it will give you the answer with uh, with these questions where when and how so you should always remember that prepositional phrase is an adverb or an adjective in both the way it can behave as an adverb or an adjective but you have to ask a question then only you will get the answer uh, how that which is this is it uh, an adjective or an adverb so underline the preposition phrase in each sentence one has been done for you we sang along with this with the band so with the band is given there that uh, it is underlined and that is a preposition phrase the football roll underneath the truck again this is a preposition so underneath the truck third one the whole thing is a prepositional phrase they continue to work here two word is a preposition to work until the whole house was painted fourth one tarun waited until the tall sailing ship disappeared beyond the horizon beyond the horizon so this is also a prepositional phrase you can find the cafeteria right by the school library by the school library sixth one the shop manager puts the newest toys near the front entrance now see all these first words this one this one this this all these are prepositions so when they combine together they will be, they are a phrase it's the all these words they become a phrase but which type of a phrase they all are prepositional phrase have you understood this one now come to page number 32 complete the sentences by choosing the correct prepositional phrases from the box i think you all have done this so the teacher asks us to learn the poems answers are given you have to find out the answer the answer is by heart this is the fourth one i am doing okay number 2 my cousins are here for a visit number 3 she was running late uh, so she left in a hurry number 4 I spoke to him on the phone. Number 5, he tried to repair the tap without success. Number 6, the new building is still under construction. Okay, so all these are answers. answers are given uh, there only but we have to choose and write now this listening skill we will do it in the class now listen to what reema has to say about paper something very informative paper is one of the most useful things in our lives before the invention of paper people had to write on barks of trees and sometimes on cloth now we use paper for many different purposes it has many uses we we use it for writing for making envelopes bags and books among other things we must not waste paper and must learn how to recycle waste material into paper it is a good idea to use recycled paper whenever we can so listed below are four items 
work in groups of three or four or choose one of them. Discuss the importance of the item you have chosen and the different ways of saving and conserving it. So here you can just write down one one point or two two points you can write down for electricity, for water that how you have to save. Okay, so this also the paper which you have pasted in that paper only you will put there the question and write down the answer. Now this part is over. A very important now a very important part is coming for that is writing skill something no. So they have given you notice writing and all. I think last year in class fourth also we have done. So this year also we will do. But in literature we are doing. Last year I think we have done in the grammar copies. Here we will again do it in your pasted paper. The paper which you will paste in that paper only you will do and do it very neatly because I am going to check it. The crafts club in your school is holding an exhibition of recycled paper. Complete the notice given on the next page announcing the exhibition. Now this. notice is given there but in this notice they have not made a box and notice cannot be written without a box so i'll show you how to write them write down and the same thing you will do it you can make a box here also okay like first it is written notice then it is written crafts club see this is always written with capital letter both the words Okay, if you want to underline, you can underline also. Date is given twenty-five July, two thousand twenty or nineteen, whatever it was. Then here they have given paper exhibition. You can highlight it. Okay, but first of all, you have to make a box. A notice cannot be written without a box. Understood? now i'm writing the whole thing they have given and then dash is given so i'm writing here exhibition now see i have written till here an exhibition of recycled paper all these are blanks given to you so you have to fill in the blank by crafts club of the school shall be held on 2nd august august at 10:30 am the exhibition will be held in the av room full stop now the second part is students shall give a demonstration of recycling paper i'm not writing the whole thing i'll write down the blank uh, the blank there students shall give a demonstration of recycling paper several articles made from recycled paper so the word here it will come paper which word will come paper paper such as letter pads envelopes carry bags and greeting cards shall be put up for sale please do come with your family and friends the other word is and and friends for the event and here the one who has given this will put the signature means you can just put your own signature there secretary of the crafts club have you understood this much so this you will complete it like this you will make a box without a box you will not write a notice because you will lose marks if you are not writing a notice in a box now 
one more thing is given write a notice to be put up on the school notice board inviting students to participate in a poster making competition to be held on 20th august this i'll show you in whatsapp i'll write down and i'll show you i'll click a picture and i'll show you on whatsapp that how you have to do it then uh, third one is what does this poster mean discuss in the class go green go paperless so this is also something a very good thing that you have to go green the whole lesson the whole thing uh, we have discussed about this only that you have to save the environment without saving the environment you cannot save paper okay so what you have to do if you want more and more paper then you have to cut more and more trees you have to disturb the environment but if you are using or recycling the paper you will not disturb the environment and you will not cut down more and more trees and because of that now they are saying that you go paperless what do you mean by going paperless nowadays you have seen that we are uh, buying things online so when we give the money we pay the bills and all no paper is there directly we can show the digital payments and all why we are doing all this thing because to avoid paper we are saving paper here and even the notes and all we are saving if we are doing the digital uh, uh, transaction what will happen we will not use the money also the paper money also much no so what will happen in that that we will not need more and more money means the uh, that paper money we will not need but the money will be in the bank and all and we can do the online payments and all so it is go green and go paperless so this is your homework and you have to do this also in the paper which you are sticking there so everything whatever today we have discussed you have to stick a paper a pin paper in that you will just write everything and i'll check everything understood children so i think we have completed the lesson one vocabulary part is left that i will uh, do it in the whatsapp only and value for me when a small thing is given i'll just discuss that also we have seen that wood is an important ingredient for making paper this we have understood trees are home to many animals birds and insects should trees be protected also discuss ways in which you can make your neighborhood greener so this is your own thing you ha you have to write your own ideas you have to create you have to uh, take an initiative to write down all these things so try to write in that paper in only four or five sentences i don't want a big story okay you can just write down in three or four sentences that why we should plant more and more trees why um, uh, we can make a how we can make our neighborhood green and all so this you have to do it in this paper only you have to paste your paper and write down in this only i hope you all the lesson is over now i hope you all have understood have a good day stay safe